Hi everyone, I'm Cindy, I'm a PGY4, and today I'm going to show you a day in the life of a resident on autopsy service. So um, right now I am in the office space within the morgue. Uh, the morgue is newly built this past spring and um, it's been great. It's currently in the basement of Colmer and everything is very new, shiny, and up to date. And we have, well, I'll take, take you on a tour as well. Um, so usually when you're on the autopsy service, the tech who is on service for the week will email you in the morning uh, or letting you know if there's any autopsies or how many autopsies are pending. Um, once the autopsies are ready, we will go down to the uh, medical records office, pick up the paperwork, and then bring it here for the tech to accession, and then we will basically start um, the autopsy when everything is ready and we present it to an attending. Um, recent addition to this protocol is because of COVID, um, we have been swabbing our COVID patients, or sorry, our patients for COVID testing before we start the autopsy. So that kind of caused a slight delay. Um, any patient who has COVID positive tests in the past, or if they test positive um, on the you know pre-autopsy swab, they go to a separate service that is done by the attendings um, and they do the COVID positive autopsies. All right, um, let's see. So on the autopsy service, you can have as many autopsies uh, ready at the same time as they're ready. Um, we decide how many we can do based on our personnel. And um, if we have to roll over the autopsy to another day, we will. So for example, uh, I currently have three autopsies pending. Um, depending on when the paperwork is, comes through, the goal would be to do one today and two tomorrow if you know the paperwork comes through in a very timely manner. Um, I think we do not do, as a service, it's very hard to do more than two adults in one day. Um, it has been done where we could do two adults and one fetus in one day if we really hustle, but generally we try to do no more than one or two autopsy cases in a day if possible. Uh, we do have Saturday autopsies if it, it comes to be, or if uh, paperwork comes through on Friday and we could do it on Saturday. But honestly, I haven't, this will be my month six of autopsy. In all these months I've done it, I have never had to come in on a Saturday to do an autopsy. So they're quite rare. All right, um, I will show you a tour of the morgue and how our facility is. All right, give me one second. All right, so this is the office space. Currently it's a little messy, pardon it. Uh, we do have lockers for you to put your stuff. We have a bathroom here that is fully equipped with a shower and, you know, basic bathroom things. And then we have our vegetable, uh, which is, you know, where our supplies are. This is where we gown up. Uh, with all the PPE that we have and before we proceed into the autopsy suite, which is over here. So generally, in terms of our PPE, we have um, the coat, uh, we have like a coat and plastic coat to put on top for water resistance. We have N95s and face shields, and we also have um, the surgical gloves, which, you know, helps uh, preserve dexterity when we're doing the autopsies. All right, and into the autopsy suite itself. So this is technically the anti-chamber. Within the autopsy suite area, it is negative pressured. Um, so let's go into the suite. All right, so in the autopsy suite here, we have kind of divided the room into two sides. So on this side is where we do the evisceration. The text will bring out the body. It will be on this uh, table. And um, if, you know, it's facing a sink. So in case there's a lot of fluid from the body, it can drain directly into the sink and produce less of a mess. 
So here we'll be working with the tech with the evisceration and once we have the organ blocks out, uh, the residents will bring it over here to this table uh, which will lay out the organ block and we'll start doing the dissection and uh, most of the gross examination of the internal organs. Um, you can see here, here's all of our shells full of um, organs from previous autopsies within this year. And uh, that's about it. At the very end, when we have all of our autopsy organs ready for display, we will page the attending, they will come down, they will look at it, and that's how we wrap the case up. So once again, our very nice, new, shiny morgue. Um, so over here, this is actually our lift. Um, it is used for when we have very uh, obese patients and that way we don't have to break our backs maneuvering the, the body. And um, we also have very fancy OR lighting in case we ever need it. So here and here, um, and that way you can see everything, you know, OR style. Um, and it is our responsibility to keep this more clean. Um, so we all try our best since this is brand new. We like to say it this way. All right, so that's really it for the morgue. Um, there is a separate chamber where is the freeze, uh, freezer, the fridge, where we keep the bodies. Um, I'm not going to show you that today. I'm pretty sure most people don't want to see it. Uh, but in terms of autopsy, it's really a hit and miss service. It could be very busy or it could be very not busy, depending on you know how it is in the hospital. Um, but generally, I would say on average, uh, in a month, there is usually between 20 to 30 cases and that is split between two residents. So on autopsy, there's always going to be two residents on at a time. And um, so we share every case and the case reports are, you know, split in half. So we, the two residents will both come down and both perform the autopsy and the gross examination. And then afterwards, uh, whoever is the primary resident will write up the case, t look at the um, slides, show it to the attending. And of course, if you're the secondary resident, you're more than free to welcome to, you know, be part of the discussion as much involved as you want to be. Okay, well, and I think that's really it for autopsy. So um, I hope this was educational and maybe I'll see you during the interview process. Bye.